Hey everyone, it's Greg Flyshaker, Greg Fly to my friends, and in this short video I am making einkorn flour biscuits. It looks like I'm starting around 10.20 in the morning, and as you can see I, I have nothing ready, I haven't prepped anything at all, so if you watch this video you'll be able to see exactly how long it takes me to make this recipe from the very beginning to the very end. So I usually do my biscuits obviously um, in a food processor here, so I'll get mine out. Uh, to snap the blade in there, and that's my einkorn flour. Einkorn, uh, for those of you who don't know, is considered, I guess, an, an ancient wheat or an heirloom wheat. It's not too similar to the modern wheat uh, that you find in most stores today. So uh, it still has gluten in it, but it's going to bake a little bit differently. It does not have nearly as much gluten and a different kind of gluten than you would find in today's um, commercially available wheat. So a, a lot of people who are trying to avoid flour, trying to avoid gluten, you can use uh, einkorn and um, get away from some of the bad aspects of what you would find in today's wheat. Um, so just adding all my ingredients to the food processor. One more note about the einkorn. Uh, the wheat I, I'm using there is you can look online and find two different kinds. Some people sell it called a high extraction where they take out some of the, the germ and the bran and it's not as full of a whole, I guess it's not a whole wheat, it's sort of a lighter flour. The one I use is a full whole grain, whole wheat, so it has all the, the germ, all the bran, everything in it, so it's actually a full grain or a whole grain. Um, and it was sprouted too, so the, the grains were sprouted first and then ground um, and that's the flour I'm using for these biscuits. Uh, I think you already saw me add some baking powder and baking soda. Now I'm adding five tablespoons of butter. And just like most biscuits, we're, we're just going to cut the butter into the flour using um, the food processor. I'm going to go ahead and pour myself some buttermilk. And if you've been following along in the blog lately, or at all, then you know that the butter that I used is from pasture cows. Um, so it's as fresh a butter as possible and the same with the buttermilk is going to be from cows that are um, pasture and, and not on a um, commercial feedlot or a commercial dairy farm. All right, so uh, I mixed everything up together, got the butter cut up into bits and now I'm adding about three quarter cups buttermilk. And uh, if you find that these are a little too wet then you can cut it back a little bit and maybe go with uh, a little bit more than half a cup or if you like sort of flatter biscuits then you know you can add a little bit more buttermilk but these seem this seems to work pretty well for me so got my baking tray out and uh, a sill pat which is just a nonstick pat there um, this is a little too wet for me to roll out and then cut so I sort of do drop biscuits I get out an ice cream scooper and just drop them on the tray this recipe gets me right around seven biscuits and I'll just plop them out on the tray and then bake them. I suppose I could try to cut this down to half a cup of buttermilk and see if I could roll them out like a more traditional biscuit, though I guess drop biscuits are pretty tr traditional, but um, I know a lot of people roll out their biscuits and then use a, a biscuit cutter. So I could try that maybe on a future future film, future try. Alright, so scrape the bowl clean and get that last biscuit. And I think I preheated the oven to 375 and this will take about half an hour to cook. So I started at, uh, what did we say, 20 after, just get everything ready. I got them in the oven now and it's about 1035. So that took me 15 minutes and part of that is because I'm slow. Um, but they should be done now, and it's been just about half an hour. So maybe spin them, turn them at 15 minutes, and then give them another 15 minutes. So it's not quite five after. So that's right at 30 minutes. And there you have some sprouted flour, einkorn flour biscuits. And you can see there, they're, they're a little bit flatter than some of the biscuits you might be used to, but good for you and very tasty.